Good day, good morning everybody. I'm so happy to see you and I really appreciate to be a part of this pleasant, nice, wonderful event. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank I'm you proud to me. be a part of Hot Work today and I'm so happy that I can share some kind of self-knowledge with you. I hope theoretical and practical part that could be helpful for you to understand yourself better. As soon, since we understand everybody is very conscious and aware here as we are talking about health. And physical health never exists without mental health and emotional health. So nowadays, astrology starts to be some kind of modern instrument. Everybody, when we are talking about jobs or careers, so we are sitting in the bar, sooner or later you get that question, what's your sign? Uh, what's your sign, you know? Like, what's your zodiac? Oh my God, I was born at the same mo month, or my mother was born at the same day, and so on and so on. So somehow astrology started to be some kind of factor how we identify or associate or we put stamps maybe no matter what. But zodiac is part of our life, as it's part of nature. I would like to present astrology from a little bit different angle. As I'm a relationship specialist, my name is Irina Kutsenko, my background is Ukrainian, I'm here in the United States, blessed to be here since July. And my expertise for 10 years is relationship only in love and careers. So how I got in touch with astrology, it happened 10 years ago. I practiced it in Ukraine, that is my motherland, after I got my extra education in Europe in astropsychology with Glenn Perry. So I put astrology and psychology together and as we know now been doing access bars and other like theta healing and other things and ways of alternative medicine we understand since you started to deal with spirituality your life never got back you're always there you try to dig to know as much as possible to help people you're already there that's one way to so for me it happened that I got some knowledge in numerology, astropsychology, psychology itself, tether healing, access bars as well, but you know my expertise is still power of numbers. So when we are talking about relationships and astrology, how that could be helpful. Not everybody knows that that wonderful science it's not only about zodiac, it's about eight powerful planets that create our potential plus, plus sun and moon. That is our father's side, it's sun, and mother's side is moon. Our unconscious side, our fears, illusions, dreams, and whatever. Plus, eight planets that every planet has a special responsibility. When we are talking about Mercury, I, I guess all girls heard of Mercury for present here. Retrograde Mercury that is happening right now. It starts at 21st of April. It ends up 15th, uh, 15th of May. Let me on the way to share some knowledge that could be practically used in your everyday life. When it's happening, retrograde Mercury during the year, three or four times, depends on the year and calendar, what we don't do. We never start new, businesses, we never sign up contracts, we never do something what's going to be new for us, any kind of procedure, any kind of operation, any kind of movement to a new apartment. Why? Because since we started in it while retrograde Mercury, we have to remake it. Mercury is a planet of contracts, negotiations, communications and trade. So what is good to do at this period of time? to redo things. Let's say you had bad plastic surgery and this is the time for you to fix something in your face or body. You go for that. You signed a contract before, but you wanted to add some column and you want to develop your business, so let it grow. You do that. You want to do, you did seminars before and you want to keep going with that, you do that. So whatever one you want to be redone and improved, you do that. Whatever is new for you, you never buy technical stuff because it's gonna be broken. 99% it was proved. You drive very carefully by that period of time and you should be very aware not to be too much explosive while communication with people. That was our planet of trade and communication brings to us. Why it happens? Because it goes in the opposite direction. That's why all the processes go like vice versa. 
Another very important period that is happening right now, we are exactly in the middle of the corridor of eclipses. So sun eclipse that is connected with our consciousness part happened 20th of April. That was my mother's birthday. For me, it gives very life-changing, important event of my relative. Because who was born in eclipse when it happens like that? Maybe it's gonna happen to you this year. You have to know it's gonna be a very special event. It could be marriage, it could be something, I don't know, something gonna be explosive and uprated in your life. So and moon eclipse that's gonna happen 5th of May, it finalizes the corridor of eclipses. It's all about our emotions that I said, all about dreams, all about illusions. What could happen for us during this period? We can become more sensitive, more fighting, things can break up, relationship can break Bring up. Out. Yes, <laughs> and, and a lot of things that is truth can come out. Let's say you didn't know that your friends were talking about you behind your back. You find it out. You didn't know the right diagnosis for your health. You find it out. You couldn't find the right doctor to heal you, but you find doctor. So it could be workout, always in good, always in bad, as everything is happening in our life. In psychology, we don't say good or bad because everything is, you know, comparison in life, yeah, depends. But at least you understand there is black and white and how you take it is very important. So when we are coming back to our planets and how they create our potential, let's say every person, when we are born on this planet, uh, like we are sitting to each other and let's say we create like different angles, geometrically, we all learned geometry and algebra in schools. So we understand, we are, op sorry, I don't know names, but we are opposite each other. Somebody is next to me, it creates conjunction. Somebody is like square to me, like 90 degrees and so on. So we have some kind of relationships. At the same moment, planets, when a person is born on this earth, it's considered to be that earth is a mirror of the sky. What is happening there, it's gonna happen here, spiritually, energetically. So those planets, eight of them, Mercury, planet of trade and communication, Venus, planet of love and beauty, and we are taking care of ourselves today, uh, Mars, planet of activity, um, uh, what else, Jupiter, is planet that gives you, no matter what, it gives you like spread yourself. It's about philosophy, it's about religion, it's about prosperity. Saturn, that our strict father of the sky, that puts everything in the right order. You want it or not, so be very aware when this planet influences you. And usually it happens for a long time. Uranus, that is planet of everything that is know-how, everything that is un unpredictable, and everything that is spontaneous. Neptune, planet of spiritual love and uh, forgiveness, actually. And Pluto, that was discovered, the last one, it's a planet of transformation. They consider it as well here on to be some kind of very important sky element that can uh, determine your destiny and your character, but it's more about invisible plan and like invisible energies that influence us as well. So when every person is born, everybody has time of birth, place of birth, date of birth, and it's forever with you because we all have this certificate and not everybody knows time of birth but people ask me my clients okay if i don't know how we can deal if i want to do birth chart reading we still can do it because in astrology there is a formula that can determine it it's rectification when i ask you proper questions what happened during your life and we can understand what was precise time of birth for you. What do we do with that knowledge? When you do a natal map that is considered in Western astrology, because there are few of them uh, on the planet right now, especially, they are discovered. We can do so many things in our practical life. First of all, you probably heard that saying that our character is our destiny. So since we read astrology 
like astrological map that is our individual horoscope. Not what we are reading in newspapers like all oh, Leo gonna get married this week or all, I don't know, <laughs> Scorpio is gonna get in trouble. No, <laughs> that's very general. There are transits. Transits, it's influence of these slow planets. You can't count only on slow planets because I told you, all those planets for everybody, they influence you individually. I was born in retrograde Mercury. So for me, the spirit is like double trouble. And for somebody else, they take it easy. It's fine, it's okay. So for me, it's very important period of life. So everybody is unique, everybody is individual. First, since we can understand it, and we probably heard everybody has a zodiac here, yes? I would like to ask everybody, for example, Cassandra, let me start with you. Then I'll like a Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> So, what do you know about Virgo? Um, <laughs> OCD. <laughs> <laughs> OCD, you took it bad side, you know? When we're speaking only about Zodiac, actually Virgo, they're very detailed, they're very accurate, they're dealing with the health, they are providing services so good, people love them, they're so detailed, so very well organized, so professionals, very loving. Sometimes it is so much loving that they're scared to open their heart because it's difficult. They are all about partnership, great partners. If you could continue, if I could know. Aries. Aries, beautiful. It's all about being a leader. You're starting. You know that astrological day, 20th of March, starts in Aries. So 20th of March is in the day of astrology itself, you know, like celebration. So all about Aries. You're usually confident. You know you're taking decision the best place where i am it's the best place on the planet you start from yourself you know what to do you're confident mostly it's element of fire and you know it's actually a sign that starts all our zodiac journey from there as our astrological calendar starts cancer <laughs> very sensitive very family oriented very, very like attached to loving partner you know you can be so warm hearted actually very good for family values incredible for kids probably love to live next to the water and so on yes. <laughs> hi do you want to be part of it could they like uh, could we discuss your sign It's all about being very confident. It's very important to compliment that people because this is the way to get to their heart. With compliments, you can really explain them what you want, what is your main message. Because since you support them mentally and emotionally, you can after to push whatever you want to say. But be very aware because they are sensitive to every word and you always have to start from them. <laughs> so you understand. That person that should be on the stage, should be in center of attention, who loves celebration, they are so generous, so loving, so sweet, good with kids, loving parties, organizations, sharing, feeding people, and so on. I'm sorry that I can't involve everybody. You're in process and you're in yourself. That's what we know a little touch about Zodiac. But in astrology, I told you, there are so many planets and every planet determines your potential. So do you imagine if we go for total, I try to design it a little bit, usually I go with big desk. So if we are talking that, for example, your zodiac is in Virgo, and somebody can say, yeah, but why, for example, my partner, she's so organized Virgo, and she's like so much, you know, like spontaneous in relationships, she can, because maybe your Venus that is taking care of your loving side in Sagittarius, and for example, you love to guide your partner to explain how things should go. I, I don't know where is your uh, Venus, but I'm just giving an example. So your zodiac doesn't correspond to the location of your other planets. That's why when you're doing birth chart reading, it's very important to know where position of all your planets, because like this, you can understand so many things in your life. You can understand what is the best place of living to you. Because it's besides zodiac system as well houses of horoscope. There is house of personality, house of money, 
house of contracts and education, house of properties, house of kids and entertainment, house of um, service, providing services, house of partnership, house of transformation, house of religion and philosophy, house of Korea, house of dreams come true and France, and house that is all unconscious world. So when I read your natal map or any kind of astrologer or psychologist who dealing with numbers and that type of knowledge, you, if you really looking for your calling, for example, because there are people who are working for ages and they don't know what they're doing in life. They say, I'm so exhausted to take so much of my energy. I want to find what is my calling, what is my mission. I want to find that money-making profession that may give me pleasure every day. You can do it with astrology, you can do it with numerology, you can do it with that type of self-knowledge because so many techniques. There is archetypical portrait, it's not only astrology itself. As well, you can find out the best days for your business starts up. For example, when is better marriage day, where is the best day to push your business, to do opening, to do red ribbon card, to do any kind of seminar or whatever. Astrology could be helpful for you to understand how you guys match for love, for careers, for recruitment, for employment that I mentioned before. Astrology can be very important for you to understand your character, how you could match with your partner, not to pick up the guy for you, you know, that you bring me 10 maps and I have to take responsibility of your life. No, but let's say you are going through important period of life with your husband. You don't know how to deal with that situation. It could be family, it could be relative, it could be your friend, but this person is important for you. We understand that it's part of karma, but you don't want to lose that person. You want to find the best way. Since we understand the character of ourselves, and since we understand the opposite side, we become more understanding, more loving, more forgiving, because we can put ourselves on the other side and you think oh my god probably this person is so sensitive i don't know having that you know not planets but you understand oh so sensitive or so touchable or so sweet i don't care i put my ego aside i will make first move i will make first step because this person from birth has trauma or has pain or has very high level of sensitivity so since you understand yourself and somebody else, you can really deal much better and more effective in so many ways. As well, you know, astrology, I asked my teacher one time, I asked, do we have that type of thing like sin in astrology? And she answered me, yes, it's when you're living not according to your mission. I said, there is a mission? She told me, yes, there is an astrology karma that is called North Node. And if you don't mind, very little practical part that now I will give this the easiest website because everybody, I guess, has a phone right now. Yes. When every girl can see for free your natal map, if you're curious to read about yourself, you can do it afterwards. But I want you right now to look only in one sign that is North Node, that is your karma task through astrology because sometimes it doesn't correspond to your zodiac you could be leo but your karma task to be a cancer to be family oriented for example so you go to this astromix horoscope.com yes astromix i'm gonna have to be here <laughs> Why I speak mostly about relationship? Because that's what built us up. All businesses nowadays are built up on relationship besides great idea. Love stories are built on relationships. Families are built on relationships. So since you have good relationships with yourself and people around, you understand, you feel so good, you can move forward. And since you found your real calling, a profession that wakes you up, puts you in a good mood, gives you extra motivation and you feel that you are worthy and you are feeling great 
and you know why you woke up this morning to move forward through life, it gives you so much inspiration. And actually, for those people who believe in energy, and we all do, doors are just opening and things are just happening. So for those who had a chance to get and put your dates over there, you're probably going to see a map like that, that's going to be your own individual map. For those who doesn't know your time of birth, it's going to be cosmogram, it's going to be easier. For those who knows your time of birth, it's brilliant because you can see as well your houses of horoscope. And by the way, since you're moving to another place, your houses are moving. So let's say if your powerful planet start to download different house, and when you move, you can start to be money-making woman, or be luckier in love or be luckier in education, depends what you really want to this. It's here. So astrology could be a cool instrument to rule your life a little bit more. Let's say collaborate with this universe. Well, I just had a hard <laughs> People are telling me, oh, is it prediction? No, I never ever go you know, I talked to my priest one day and I asked, how does religion go together? Because Kepler from 14 to 16, astrology was a very important educational knowledge in all universities. After they took it out, but astrology was considered, for example, Aklinsky, if you know, he was a great philosopher. He brought astrology as a very spiritual science. Aristotle, as well they did like cosmogramy it's education of the sky when he proved that everything what is happening there determines events here Amar Hayam was literature all about literature nothing he was great in Rubai and beautiful rhymes and he created the most powerful astrological calendar so people who were representatives in physics in algebra in Nostradamus who was not few people considered to be a future teller but he was into chemistry so everything was connected to cosmetic or alchemia or whatever. Actually, it was related to astrology itself. And priests and church used astrological knowledge. And if you go to any type of religion, you will see that every calendar is based on moon cycles. We are more emotional when it's full moon. We are making wishes on the rising moon, crescent moon, they say. It. You know, we try to get rid and you know, to clean apartment when it's descending moon, it goes down. So intuitively, people live in through those cycles without understanding that they are doing that. Girls, did you have a chance to look at your maps and download it? Beautiful. So, so it looks like that. It looks like that. So this looks like this. Absolutely the same. 
it's all about like networking, dealing with people. That's what Justin mentioned to like person next to you. And actually, dealing with products, talking, presenting yourself, putting your own energy. That's how it works. This is uh, Capricorn. 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 It's all about focused on job, something very real, down to earth, very concrete, probably materialistic. The only one thing that if people, that uh, if you believe, because that's what astrology does, astrology believes in current life, in previous life, and that you have some kind of energetic tales from your karma, yeah? So what you bring with you to work it out. So this karma node is always opposite to your previous karma. So let's say if in this life, I don't know, I wouldn't call it that way directly, but you have some relatives, for example, you wanted to be an actress when you were young and your father didn't want you to go there. Or your husband doesn't want you to be so much, you know, business lady. Or your kids taking so much attention for you and they are preventing you from doing whatever you want. Let's say somebody who takes your energy and you would love to give 100% to your careers. That could be people from your past life that, you know, help you to work it out. But your focus in life is career. Mm. Who else? Okay, excuse me. So it's gonna happen. Okay, beautiful. We have it, Aquarius. Very friendly karma task. It's all about communication. It's all about, you know, about to help people, but not to be overly involved. Let's say when you start to help people and after you can't stop because you have to save your friend, you don't do that. You give advice if somebody asks you, you help a little bit on your limit, but you don't dig it. Don't go too much, okay? So that's very important. The other thing, recommendation with this karma task, you switch. You finish with your seminar, you like you change your clothes and you change for something different, the same. To be in the moment, to be present, to be as much easy as possible. Okay, okay, I have a new boyfriend. Okay, I have a new place of living. Okay, I have a new task to do. Because probably you could be very thoughtful, very sensitive. Let's say, you know, that you don't think when you're working out. You have just to think, okay, now I'm working out. I don't care about nothing. And it's not easy, I know. <laughs> it's not easy. But Aquarius, it's all about that. And your zodiac, it's not Aquarius, correct? It's Leo. It's Leo. So. That's Leo, and Leo, they're deep, they're emotional, they're like, you know, look like they're uh, not sensitive, but they are very sensitive, I know, and very thoughtful, especially for people they love. Yes, please. Um, what else? So, oh, interesting, almost cusp, Libra. You're on Libra, cusp is Virgo, but it's still Libra. So, what does it mean to have karma task in Libra? If you open your business, and you probably did it as I see, it's better to collaborate with somebody, to have a partner. To have a partner in love, it's very important, and you could be emotionally dependful, not, I don't want to say dependful, I'm sorry because I'm a foreigner, but oriented, emotionally oriented, you know, you consider uh, opinion of your partner, usually, probably in private life. For, business issues it's very important to have a partner because like this you grow in a material way you're stronger like that so it's very important to have strong partner in life as well in love issues because that's how you balance it your karma task it's not your zodiac i told you so be very aware about that girl somebody else or we are done so when I'm talking about karma, you know, about every person, astrology is something that you study two, three hours ago the person and you talk one good hour only about this person. There are so many things and manipulations that you could do with astrology. It could be uh, potential for the year, potential for the months. It could be picking up good days for you, you know, for whatever you want in life. Love and career, as I told you. But it's very important to understand that it's part of nature, it's like a forecast. We take our decisions, we rely only on ourselves, we have collaboration with our higher spirit, with energy, with God, I'm God believer. That's why, you know, I studied astrology because I didn't want to feel that I'm doing a scene, helping people, that I interfere their energetic field. So that's why 
any astrologer who is a really decent astrologer would never ever give you any type of prediction. He would be very aware and very psychologically educated and prepared to study what is your level of sensitivity to deliver information for you. Like this, after session, you can leave it with an open heart, be very inspired, and even if you have things and features and trends to work out, you will understand, okay, for example, I'm lazy, but all genius, they were lazy. So like this, you know, all, all like people like Pythagore, they created formulas. So maybe I can be lazy, I don't know. I can be a writer because I love to sit. So I can be an artist because I love to draw. I can uh, find something good. And that's the main point. So I wish everybody absolutely to be proud of yourself. Understand that everybody is unique and you can become only the best person of your uh, version of yourself. And uh, you know, astrology is just little drop in the ocean that can be a very good instrument for you, for your self-esteem, to understand yourself better. What is your calling, what is your mission? Uh, and you know, just go through this life with an open heart and always believe in higher spirit energy and understand that only good things gonna happen to you. That's actually what I wanted to share with you as a little part of big knowledge, you know, because this is topic I can discuss endlessly and numerology and there are so many practical things that I can share with you. But for today, just to enter in those doors of spirituality, I think it was enough. If you let me to share with you my, uh, like what I'm doing besides that, because I'm living in this spiritual world for 10 good years, my niche is relationships. I told you I work individually with people who are looking for love. Actually, I have my podcast, the first astrology-based matchmaking podcast for love and career seekers. I'm filming here in Podpodkulai, Bokaraton, absolutely in center for people who really want to find a meaningful connection. And it's difficult because it's, people are exhausted, they don't know, they're going to restaurants, bars, and they're, yeah, they're exhausted. It's so that's good, you know, when you know yourself, when you talk what you really want in studio, I create 12 very special individual zodiac questions that open up your heart and you can even live in that studio to understand yourself better what you want in life, you know, for love and careers. So everybody is more than welcome to get in touch with me. I don't know how it happened that I came today without business cards, but I'm here with you. I, I don't know. I didn't really hear. Yeah, yeah, it's just, and I live here, and I think I left them before. But everything I'm doing, you know, I have my podcast, my book is about relationships, and Venus in 12 zodiacs is going to come out, 12 chapters, how every zodiac is delivering, processing, and understanding love in his own or her own way. Book is going to be on the market in a couple of months, two, three, I guess so. Podcast is happening right now. We are filming every day in Pot Pot Fly, and I hold my individuals and group sessions uh, here just in Meitzner. So we are neighbors. For those who are interested, you're more than welcome. www stars about stars. That's my brand. Just stars about stars dot com and YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's everywhere the same name. Just you always have to put that sign yeah, even in right. YouTube. Yeah, at stars about stars. And you're always welcome. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. Wow, you're a model. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was my yes past. <laughs> I, I'm still modeling, but I do it, you know, like more for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. See you. <laughs> Everybody is more than welcome. I was happy to talk to you, you know, to be speaking. Cassandra, thank you so much again. And I wish you a blessing and health. I knew, I knew the first day she walked in to make me remember that she, we all needed her. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Just a little bit, you know.